Hello my fellow Simmers and welcome to this video on how to create a thumbnail for your Sims videos. This is just one of several ways that you can make them but this is how I personally like to make mine. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is find a background which you are going to use for your thumbnail. Um, you can pretty much search up anything, cute backgrounds, pastel backgrounds or anything that you think you might like. Um, the one thing I would have to say though is make sure that you type in 1280 times 720 because that is the YouTube thumbnail size so if you do not type that in it will be a lot harder to find an image that will fit the thumbnail. So once you have found your thumbnail background you're going to go to a website called pixlr.com I'll link all this down in the description by the way and then you're going to click on create new image and size it to whatever you would like and then you're going to tick the transparent box this is very important because otherwise you're going to end up with another background on your thumbnail which we do not want. So now you're going to click on layer and then open image as layer and you're going to find whatever screenshot you would like to use as your thumbnail picture. So here I am just using one from a very old creator. And now you're going to click on this magic wand tool which is basically going to get rid of your background. So just click on the background and then just backspace or delete it. And once you've finished that, you're just going to save the image to your desktop or wherever you'd like to save it to. Make sure you save it as a PNG because that is going to keep the transparent background, otherwise it will just make it white. Okay, so now you're going to want to go to a website called pickmonkey.com and you're just going to press design um, and then you're going to open up the background that you've downloaded and this is completely free unless you want the extras which is still pretty affordable but I just use the free version and now you're going to click on the overlays which is the butterfly and then you're going to click on your own and you're going to add in your sim and then you're going to resize it to whatever size you'd like. And now I'm just going to go back to pixlr.com and I'm going to get out of that picture and just open a new image. And now I'm just going to open another image of the same sim. This is totally optional, you can just stay with one sim or if you just want text, it's up to you. going back to pickmonkey.com you can just add another overlay which you're just going to add that image which we just edited and resize it and position it wherever you'd like as you can see here I am just repositioning them because I didn't quite like where they were so now we are just adding some text in you can add whatever you'd like Personally for this video I'm making it for the tutorial that I'm creating so I'm just going to write the appropriate text in there. As you can see here I'm just playing around with the text. Um, you can do whatever fonts and whatever size you'd like and here I'm just adding in some different ground overlays which I think just make the thumbnail super cute. So I decided to go with this overlay as the background and here I'm just playing around with some effects and I decided to go with this one because I think it looks pretty cool and I'm just adding in another overlay. I like to add in the Sims logo because I think it just makes 
the thumbnail kind of to show what you are showing I guess. Um, I think it looks super cute. So here I am just adding in some star overlays and playing around with some effects. I really like the tranquil one but I decided to go with the dark edges for this thumbnail because I thought it went better than the tranquil one. So now you are just going to save your image and it is ready to upload to YouTube. Thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to leave a request down below. Have a wonderful day. Bye.